Hello everyone. Today we will continue on the probability of dependent events and independent events. Okay, so let's have a look. The probability of the intersection of two independent event A and B is equal to the product of probability event A and probability of event B. So we will have the multiplication rule of probability, which is probability of event A and B equals to probability of event A multiplied with probability of event B. Now, this multiplication rule can only be applied if event A and event B are independent. Okay, are independent. Let's have a look at example 3. Box F contains seven cards which label the letters B A M E R A N, and box G contains five cards labeled with the numbers 3, 5, 6, 8, and 11. A card is chosen at random from box F and box G, respectively. Verify the conjecture about the formula of probability to get the letter P and an even number by listing the possible outcome. So the question verify the conjecture is actually telling us to prove it. Okay, it's telling us to prove the formula of probability, this one, okay, by um, using the formula and also at the same time by listing possible outcome. Let's just say um, when verify the conjecture, we just want to confirm that when we use the formula, is it the same answer as when we listing the possible outcome? Okay, so let us just list down first um, what we have here. We have two boxes. Okay, we have box F contain seven cards with letter B, A, M, E, R, A, N. So notice that when we write down um, when we write down the letters here, they are in set notation. Okay, for probability, we will, we will be using set notation. And then for um, box G, okay, box G contains five cards with uh, labeled with the numbers 3, 5, 6, 8, and 11. So a card is chosen at random from box F and one more card is uh, chosen at random from box G and then verify the probability of getting a letter P and an even number by listing the possible outcome. So let's say we find out first the probability of getting the letter P. Okay, so this is um, from box F. So what is the probability of getting a letter P from box F? What's the probability? So only one letter P. So 1 over total numbers of letters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1 over 7. And then the probability of getting an even number. Okay, an even number. So, numbers are from box G. So, how many even number do we have? We have 6 and 8. So, the probability of getting an even number is 2 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, based on the multiplication rule, the probability of a uh, two independent event, okay, event A and event B, is probability of event A multiply with probability of event B. So in this case, our first event is the probability of getting a letter P, which is 1 over 7. And our second event is probability of getting an even number, which is 2.5. So we have our answer 1 times 2, 2, 7 times 5, 35. Okay, so this is the answer for the um, using the multiplication rule. 
What about if we use listing possible outcome? Right, so now we want to list out um, the possible outcome of getting a letter P and an even number. So previously I showed you guys about using the table method. Okay, so um, instead of a table method, we can just list out everything. Okay, first off, we can write down our sample space first. This sample space means the total possible outcome we can get. Okay, so remember the question just now was to uh, get one letter from box F and then another uh, and get one a number from box G. So let's say if I have a first time I got the letter P as the number, I can get the number 3. I can also get P5, P6, P8, or P11, right? So these are the probabilities of me getting a letter P and other numbers as well. But it doesn't end here. Okay, we might also get a letter A with number 3, A with 5, A6, A8, A11. And continue listing everything down. Okay, until the last letter. I'd love to speed things up, but just couldn't. So, Bryce probably can skip this part. E3, E5, E6, E8, E11. R3, R5, R6, R8, R11, A3, A5, A6, A8, A11, Almost done. Entry and five and six and eight and eleven. Okay, now now it's a really long list, but. Let's count, let's count first, what's the number of sample space here, okay, the, or the number of possible outcome. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. That is the total possible outcome. Okay, and then NA is the probability of getting letter, letter P and even number. So which one is the probability of getting the letter P and an even number? So P an even number, 1, 2. So, an A is 2. So, the probability of A or the probability of getting letter P and even number is NA over NS. So NA, 2, okay, 2, which is P6 and P8. Okay, over the total possible outcome is 35.
Now, if you compare with the first one, you can see that using the multiplication uh, formula and also listing possible outcome, both of the uh, both of the answers are the same. Therefore, we can say that both method give the same answer. Let's look at the next example. So we have Kamal here. So Kamal chooses two marbles randomly from a box which contains four red marbles, three yellow marbles, and one green marble. The first marble is returned to the box before the second marble is chosen. Verify the conjecture about the formula of probability that two yellow marbles are chosen by listing all the possible outcome. Okay, so we have a box here. Okay, we have a box here. We have four red marbles. So I will write down red one, red two, red three, red four. And then three yellow marbles, so yellow one, yellow two, yellow three, and then one green marble, so only one G. And then first marble is written to the box before the second marble is chosen. Okay, means that this is an independent event. Okay, the first event does not affect the second event. When I take the first marble, I record the color and I return it back. Okay, so the um the number of the marbles inside the box will remain the same. Okay, for both times. Now verify the conjecture about the uh, formula of probability that two yellow marbles are chosen by listing the possible outcome. So firstly, let's try the formula, the multiplication rule. Okay, using multiplication rule. Using multiplication rule. So the probability of getting yellow marble first time. What's the probability of getting a yellow marble for the first time? So I have one, two, three. So I have three probability, okay, to get a yellow marble for the first time. So three over sum of marbles. So four plus four eight. Okay, so this is the probability of getting the yellow marble first time. Let's say if I already take out one marble, and then I return the marble inside the box. So I put it back. Second time, I'm getting another marble. So what's the probability of getting a yellow marble for the second time? Okay, so second time. Let's say if I get one marble, I put it back. How many... Um, and I want to take it again. So how many uh, probability of getting a yellow marble for the second time? So second time, I also have the probability of 3 over 8, right? Then, using the multiplication rule, so the probability of getting 2 yellow marbles is 3 over 8 times 3 over 8. 3 times 3, 9. 8 times 8, 64. So this is the answer when we are using the multiplication rule. What if we are using the um, the listing possible outcome? So, so for listing possible outcome, that, um, this time let me try using the table method. Okay, so listing possible outcome. 
So for the first marble, I have four.